So a Storyline user had a unique situation today where she had multiple blanks on a slide and there were actually multiple correct answers possible for each one. So here's a quick mock-up of something similar. Um, I've got two blanks here on the slide, as you can see, these uh, two text entry fields that I've inserted on my slide. And the user can enter any of three words into each of the blanks in order to get the question right. So in this first one, they would need to enter owl, zebra, or lion. In the second one, they would need to enter strawberry, pineapple, or banana. So the, the challenge is there's really not a question type that has this kind of functionality automatically, but you can certainly set it up with a couple variables and some conditional triggers, and it's actually pretty easy. So what I've done is, even though this looks like a fill in the blank question, it's actually a multiple choice question in disguise. If you notice over here, I've got these uh, blue buttons off to the left out of the view of the learner. And these are what I'm using as the answer choices. The learner doesn't select them. I've actually got triggers that select one or the other based on what the learner enters in these fields over here, okay? So here's how it works. First thing was I inserted these buttons over here at the left, moved them off the slide, and then I converted the slide to freeform. So up here on the Insert tab, you'll see that there's a button here called Convert to Freeform. Mine says Remove Freeform because I've already converted this slide, but yours should say Convert to Freeform if you haven't done that already. And then once you click on that, you'll see this question editor pop up, and this is where you can select the answer choices, which in our case would be those blue off-screen buttons, and then you would mark the correct one correct. So that's all there is to that. And now we would just need a mechanism to tell Storyline the circumstances when it should select one or the other. So the logic on this slide is we want to consider this question correct if the user enters you know, owl, zebra, or lion in this top blank, and if they enter strawberry, pineapple, or banana in the bottom blank, right? So what I did is I created a couple of true-false variables to monitor whether each of these items was actually correct. So if we click on the project variables here and pop this up, here's what I did. I created this one called animal entry correct. That would be for the top one. And then I also created the variable called fruit entry correct. That's the bottom one. These are uh, true-false variables, and you can see their initial value is false because when the learner first gets to the slide, you know, the question hasn't been answered correctly yet. And then we're going to use a trigger to tell Storyline when to change that value to true, okay? And if both of those values are true when the learner clicks Submit, then we're going to tell Storyline to go ahead and select the blue button over here called Correct, and then the learner will get the question right. If these variables have not both been flipped to true, then Storyline is going to select Incorrect, this blue button over here, and the learner will get the question wrong. Okay, I should also mention too that the other variables that you see here, these, um, this one called animal entry and fruit entry, those are ones that Storyline created for me when I inserted my text entry fields. I just renamed them so that they'd be a little bit easier for me to keep straight in my head. So that's what those are about. And again, Storyline creates those for you when you insert a text entry field by using the Insert tab and then choose Data Entry and Text Entry. That's all that this is. Okay, so we've got our variables set up and now we can accomplish what we want with just a few triggers. So if I scroll down here, I'll show you the triggers that I made. This first one right here is basically telling Storyline to consider the first text entry field correct if the learner has entered owl, zebra, or lion in it. So we're saying adjust the variable called animal entry correct and give it a value of true. In other words, consider that question correct if the user clicks the submit button and these conditions are true if they've entered owl or zebra or lion. Okay, and then the next one does the same thing for that, oops, for that second text entry field with the fruit. It's this very same behavior. Once we do that, we can tell Storyline which of the off-screen buttons to mark, and that's what these next two triggers are for over here. So this one says change the state of the correct button to selected when the user clicks submit, but only if the animal entry is correct and the fruit entry is correct. And then the second one basically does the opposite, mark incorrect if either of those are not true. So let's go ahead and preview this and we'll enter this correctly the first time, lion and banana, and we'll hit submit and get it right. And now we'll just try one more time. We'll enter some bogus information and you'll see that we'll get it wrong.